Well, here we are on stage 11, starting in Albertville. The finish line is at the top of La Toussire. At 148 kilometres, this is one of the shortest stages of this year's race, but by no means one of the easiest. Total of 70 kilometres today is uphill, and in that time, the riders will be climbing almost 5,000 vertical metres. After 15 flat kilometres at the start of today's stage, I'm already on the lower slopes of the Col de la Madeleine. A massive 25.3 kilometres in distance. Climb peaks at 2,000 metres above sea level. Whilst the average gradient is 6.2%, it's actually the constant changes in that gradient which plays into the hands of the pure climbers. Guys who like a steady rhythm on climbs would already be put into difficulty early in the stage. Coming so early into this stage, it's very likely that the early breakaway is going to be formed at some point on this first mountain of the day. And because of that, it's going to be a strong group of riders. Some of the teams might strategically place one of their riders in the breakaway in order to give their leader somebody to jump across to a little later in the stage. Whilst the team with the yellow jersey, well, they'll just be trying to control things and make sure that nobody too dangerous goes up the road. A couple of kilometres now from the top of the Col de Glandon, which leads immediately onto the Col de la Croix de Fer. Second big climb of today, equally as tough, I would say, as the Madeleine that we started off on. Best time on Strava up the Col de Glandon, it's just under an hour and a quarter. I actually rode up this last year in the Criterion de Dauphiné, only in the Gruppetto, but it took me just under an hour and 10 minutes. That's with 310 watts, 147 heart rate. Total is 22.4 kilometres. Like the Madeleine, it's not a constant gradient. Various kicks up, a few flatter sections as well. This is still about 60 k's out. I'm not expecting too many attacks just here from the big name riders. The break will long have been established. Should be a team setting a pace on the front. Oh, just come down off the descent of the Col de Mola. It's not something I've done before, and actually it's surprisingly tight and technical on the way down there. It leads straight into the final climb of the day. And not only will the bunch be thinned out after the previous climbs, I think they're also going to be strung out too. So not too much jostling for position. This final climb up to Latus here was used back in the 2006 Tour de France, a stage that was won by Denmark's Michael Rasmussen. Cade Levens finished fourth that day, he obviously knows it well. It was also used as the last stage in last year's criteria in the Dauphiné. That stage was won by Joachim Rodriguez. Bradley Wiggins finished tenth on the stage, in doing so, went on to win the first of two consecutive overall titles in that race. Oh, I've just crossed the line here in Latoussir. This is one of two stages being used for the Etape de Tour series this year. This is where amateur riders get to ride along the same route as the professionals. And this stage is a real challenge, not just for them, but for also for the professional riders. And I'm really looking forward to watching what should be a very exciting finish. <laughs> 